Good morning guys, welcome to the vlog. Today we're gonna do a little half birthday party for the kids, so I'm gonna be filming a little bit. Jackson is turning six months old on June 10th, and Riley's birthday is December 18th, so she turns two and a half on the 18th of June. So we did a half birthday for Riley. I thought it would be really cute to do a little half birthday for Jackson. So we're gonna be baking a cake. I just started preheating the oven. Got a little cake mix to make for them. And then over here, I have a couple things that I got them. I got Jackson this little onesie. It says it's my half birthday. And then I got Riley this little party hat. And then this is a little banner that I have to see where I set up. I think it just says like happy half or something like that. And then this is like the little cake topper. We're doing it a little bit early because Literally, as soon as I finished my last vlog where I talked about like our little life update and how we were gonna be staying here throughout the entire month of June. As soon as I finished filming that video, Joe got called back to work. So his boss called him and they need him back in Virginia. So he's gonna actually be leaving tomorrow. I'm gonna be staying here with my parents for another couple weeks. And then Joe will come back and pick me up in like two weeks. So like Father's Day weekend is hopefully when we will see him again. But yeah, there's been a lot of craziness going on. And I was gonna wait a little while longer to do their little half birthday party, but we have to do it today so that he can be a part of it. But it should be a fun day. I will link the video where we did Riley's half birthday in case you guys want to see what she was up to when she was six months old. But look, Jackson is down. He's down for his first nap. I actually have to log it. I'm still using this Huckleberry app, by the way, so... I track all of his naps here and his feeding times and see like I can see like when he ate and when he was sleeping and stuff. So I still use that app. Riley, are we gonna make a cake? Yeah? With sprinkles? And what are we gonna sing? No, I want to sing happy birthday. Oh, you don't want to sing happy birthday? And no candles. Oh, no candles? You just want to eat the cake? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Okay, that's very specific. You want a what? Big, big piece. A big piece? Mm. Well, if you're a good girl, you'll get a big piece, okay? You gonna help me make the cake, Dada? Sure. Dada, are you gonna miss us? Yes. Are you sad you have to leave? Yes. All right, so we're gonna get to work on this cake because ever since we mentioned that we were gonna make a cake yesterday, Riley keeps like bombarding us with questions about the cake. Oh, this tripod is falling. She's like, cake, cake, I want cake. I want cake with sprinkles. So we need to make her her cake so that she can have it soon because otherwise she's gonna drive us freaking crazy. This mixer that my mom has is probably like 20 years old. This thing is so old. I remember like baking cakes with it when I was little. How old is your mixer, do you think? Well, it's not that old. It's, it's gotta be super old. Look at this thing. This thing is very old. <laughs> Riley, what are we doing? We're making you a cake. Those look really good. So now we're gonna put them in the oven for like 30 minutes. And then once they've cooled off, then we can like decorate them and frost them and all of that. Yeah, I know that Riley will really like this and I just jump at any opportunity to like celebrate, have a party. And since we're here at my parents' house, I wanted to be able to do like a little half birthday party for them. And that way my parents can be here. My grandparents are gonna come over later because like, I don't know if, you know, come, December when it's their birthday my parents are gonna be able to make it out there So at least we'll do like a half birthday party and it'll be a nice little celebration We'll order some pizza later and that's just you know a way that I can like help them Celebrate with the kids and stuff. This is what happens every single time that I'm trying to do anything online I was looking at Carter's and they have like the cutest little clothes for boys And I want to get Jackson some things, but she keeps coming over here thinking that this is her I'm computer Um Excuse me. But then we practice the letters. I tell her to look for the different letters. Yeah, I was pretty bummed when Joe got the phone call that he needed to go back to work. I was very much expecting that we were gonna be here for another three weeks with him and hanging out with the family. So it's definitely a disappointment, but everything's gonna be okay. We'll get through it. I obviously could have gone back home with him, but I wanted 
to like give Riley and Jackson like the opportunity to stay with their grandparents for another couple weeks because we've been having the best time like they've been making the best memories and like I've really been enjoying this family time and then next week my sister is supposed to be coming to like stay with us too because her and her fiance they're from out of town too they live out of town so we were supposed to like all get together and hang out so we'll still be doing that just Joe will be back in Virginia so I didn't want for Riley and Jackson to not be able to see their aunt. So it'll still be a good time, but we are bummed and I will obviously miss Joe, but there's a couple things at home that he can take care of while he's up there. Like one of the things that I want him to try to do while he's up there is attach like all the big pieces of furniture to the wall, like to kind of childproof some of the like pieces of furniture that we have. Since like after Jackson's accident, I've been a little bit like just traumatized about all of that so we're gonna have him do some of that i may also order his crib and his dresser so that by the time that we're back home like for good then i, I can just like start you know fixing up his room and stuff and getting the nursery ready so that's the plan right now obviously it can change like things change day to day and we are still hoping to make it to north carolina so the plan is i'm gonna go back home with joe for like a week and then meet up with everybody again in north carolina at the end of june so a lot of back and forth but we're just trying to go with the flow and make the best of it but most importantly important for me right now is like I don't know when we're gonna have another opportunity like this to like spend multiple weeks back home with my parents so I'm really trying to like allow the kids to enjoy that to enjoy using the pool outside with my mom and stuff so that's what we're gonna do right now all right I just pulled the cakes out of the oven we'll let them cool and Jackson is up from his nap so I'm gonna go get him <laughs> this is what this little buddy's been trying to do every day he just tries to eat his sock hi I always find him trying to grab his sock and put it in his mouth. It's so funny. Look at his little outfit today. This is the cutest thing. Joe is so happy that he's wearing this. I've had it since he was born because it was a gift and now he finally fits into it. But anything Star Wars, <laughs> Joe is so happy to see him in. Not that he's ever been a good sleeper, but this little guy has been having some rough nights lately and therefore I have had some super rough nights. So last night I gave him some Tylenol because it seems like his teeth are really bothering him. So he's been putting everything in his mouth and I just think that he's been in a little bit of pain. So he's waking up more than usual. So last night I gave him some Tylenol and that seemed to help him. Look at your crazy hair. <laughs> look cuckoo. So like this is one of the things that he likes to play with. This is like a really cute little lovey and then it has like this little thing where you can connect like a pacifier. This is one of those Ryan and Rose teethers. So he'll grab onto this and put that in his mouth or sometimes he just sticks the actual lovey itself in his mouth, but this is something that I give him to kind of help him with his teething. For really quick, while he's there entertained, I wanted to address a question that I've been getting asked a bunch about whether or not I have in-laws, whether or not I ever see them, whether or not we ever talk to them. But here's the thing, it's a little bit different just because Joe's family dynamic is definitely different than mine. I am Cuban, I grew up in a very tight-knit family, like grandparents, aunts, uncles, you know, like we were always very, very close and I have never been away from my family until now that I moved away to Virginia. With Joe's family, that's not the case. So Joe, um, unfortunately his dad passed away before I even met Joe. So I never met Joe's dad, but Joe's mom is still very much around. She lives in Panama City Beach with Joe's brother. So Joe's brother is up there. He has a family of his own, he has kids. So we talked to them and before we had kids and stuff, we used to go see them a little bit more frequently now it's been hard with the kids and just things have been a little bit chaotic but we do have plans hopefully to see them sometime soon because i do want riley and jackson to like hang out with their cousins and riley talks to Mima all the time so joe will facetime his mom and i encourage him to talk to his mom all the time and riley facetimes Mima and she has a great time so we do try to like have them connect that way but it's just a little different and like i guess it's gonna sound bad but like joe's mom has been used to joe being gone like since he was like 18 years old like joe went into the coast guard after high school and so he's been gone pretty much since he then later on moved from panama city beach to miami for his job so like joe's been gone for a long time so she's used to like not seeing him all the time i'm sure that she appreciates whenever we do visit and whenever we do see her but it's different from like my family that's used to seeing me like once a week and when we're apart for like more than that like it's just like we don't like that so it's a little different and i know that joe knows that and that's why joe 
really does a great job of encouraging us to come visit my parents and my family and how much it means to me that you know my parents hang out with the kids because like I grew up seeing my grandparents like every weekend like that's how I grew up Joe grew up a little differently where the extended family was a little bit not as like tight-knit like I don't know like Latin families are just very attached to the hip whereas joe has extended family that lives in birmingham alabama and we don't see them as often and for joe not that he doesn't love his family not that he doesn't appreciate when we see them and stuff but he's not as emotionally attached i guess i don't know it's just different family cultures so i don't want you guys to think that there's any like beef there i don't want you guys to think that i don't like joe's mom and we were planning on having joe's mom up to our house for easter but then covid happened and all of that and she's one of the more like at-risk populations because she's older and we didn't want her to like get on an airplane and fly and god forbid something happened to her but that's a deal my in-laws and it's hard it's hard because like you only get so much free time right and you only get so much time off and when not everybody lives in the same area it's like for the holidays where you know where do we go now with us being away in virginia it's even harder because it's not like i can just see my parents on the weekends and then on the holidays we go and see his family so we're figuring that out with covid it's even harder it's just one of the things that we have to deal with these days so yeah i'm gonna go out there and feed him and then hopefully we can decorate the cake a little later and i've got to eat some lunch so i probably have leftovers from yesterday hello kid pie <laughs> what are you doing with jackson <laughs> Dad, I like throws his toys at him. <laughs> he gets all excited. Do you like playing with Dada? Do you like his outfit, Dada? I love it. Little Darth Vader. We have to get him some more Star Wars outfits. Yes, ma'am. Oh, he likes this game. When you put it up there, he likes to play <laughs> that game. <laughs> he gets so happy. Hi, baby. Riley is over here. She already finished her lunch. You're all done? You're ready to eat some yummy cake? We have to make it for you. We have to frost it. You want to decorate it? Let's decorate your cake. Do you like the cake? We're going to make the cake. making your cake? Yes, it's not a pancake. It's not a pancake. She was having a fit when he put the other piece on because she thought it was a pancake instead of a cake. There's so many to decorate. So many things to decorate? Look at the beautiful cake. I have so what we did for Riley's half birthday and what we're going to do again is we're going to cut the cake in half and then it's half a cake for no the half birthday. Candles. No candles. Okay, got it. Heard. Look at this guy. He must have flipped because we had him on his back when we left. So little dude flipped on his own. I'm super proud of him. How about these? What are these? It's glitter. It's glitter? Yes, it's so sparkly and shiny. <laughs> it's so sparkly and shiny. And this is chocolate. That one's chocolate. It's so Good job. How's it looking, Dada? <laughs> this is our super beautiful cake. Riley will not care. It will taste delicious. It does not have to be beautiful. This is just like us. Kind of, you know, a hot mess, but it's okay. All right, so that's what the cake looks like. We're going to cut it in half, and then we're going to have her decorate it. Are you going to decorate? Yeah. Okay, get some sprinkles and put them there. Yeah, get sprinkles, and I'll put them on the cake. Whoa! Wow! 
This cake looks so beautiful. Good job. Your sprinkles? You dropped one? Or like 40? That's all right. I'm gonna put the little cake chopper. And now that's what the half birthday cake looks like. Good job, Gordy. I want a spoon. I bought a spoon. How's your cake? Is it yummy? We gave her one little piece that she decorated herself. Are oh, you just gonna eat the sprinkles? Yes. <laughs> Good job. Look at Mimi with the baby. He looks like a big boy today. Six months old. Little chunker. Look, we just got a knock on the door and the little crown came in from Amazon. The little bow tie. So I guess I'll be able to put this on. Mm. <laughs> Look, now every time that Jackson gets sleepy, he starts talking. He starts making lots of noises. What do you want to say, Gordo? What do you want to say? <laughs> He's been super loud for like the last 10 minutes. What do you want to say? <laughs> How do you say mama? Mama. <laughs> That's like his new like sleepy cue that he starts like talking like that and like being loud means that he's getting sleepy. So. Yeah. Tell me about it. We've been here on the couch watching 90 Day Fiance, but it looks like I'm gonna have to put him down for a nap. Let's go, little man. Look at this little miss in her little party dress. Let me see your dress. Let me see. Can you do a little twirl for me? <laughs> Is that your party dress? You look so beautiful. What? That's a party hat. That's for Jackson. Oh, Mimi has her glass slippers since this one is obsessed with Cinderella right now. We told her that she was gonna wear her glass slippers. Let's see, do they fit? Yes. Are you sure? Are you sure? It's broken a thousand pieces. It's broken a thousand pieces. <laughs> oh my goodness. We gotta change this little guy. We gotta put him in his onesie. Hey cutie pie. Wow. You look so beautiful. Yeah, that's a hat. <gasps> when you were little, you had one just like that. And that's for Jackson. <laughs> look at Riley with her little party hat. Let me see. You look so beautiful. What does that say? It says happy hat. Happy birthday. Turn around and say cheese. Turn around and say cheese. We got Jackson in his little onesie where he just wants to play here in his toys. So I'm gonna see if I can get them to take some pictures. You want cake? It's decorated. It's decorated? Okay, but don't smush your party hat. Just leave it there. See, it looks so beautiful. Hold on, I have to fix it. My grandparents just got here. Hi. Hi. Happy six months, my baby doll. Good job. Hi. Well, excuse me, how did you get this tape? That's not what that tape is for. <laughs> Look at this little dude. Here with his cake. Just trying to get some pictures of him. What are you doing there? Look at her scouting that cake. What are you doing?
give him a little kiss. Give him a little kiss then. Go, Go give him a little kiss. Oh, oh that's so nice. I hold him. You hold him. You gotta sit back there. Okay. <laughs> good party. <laughs> You're so cute. Okay, I'm hoping that we got some good shots in all of this craziness because that's about as good as it's gonna get. This little dude looks so cute in his crown, and Riley looked super cute in hers. What do you want? Show me. A big piece or a little piece? A big piece. Look, I wanted to take some pictures of him with the little bow tie. And <laughs> look how cute he looks in here. <laughs> he looks so cute with this. Come on. There you go, Gordo. Look at that little dude. <laughs> he looks so cute. <laughs> little Jackson. Look at Jackson with Mimi and Papa. Tell him who's the king of this house. Tell him who's the king of the house. I have the name, you have the crown. Hi, Gordito. <laughs> he looks so cute. His hat is like tilted. Gordito. Can you believe that he's six months old already? No. A little teeny tiny. <laughs> so yeah, we're really happy that my grandparents got to hang out with him for his half birthday and my parents. <laughs> Just like we did with Riley. Oh, that looks beautiful on your head. Now we gotta get Riley to see if we sing happy birthday, but she doesn't wanna sing. No. <laughs> she keeps saying, she doesn't wanna sing. She keeps no saying candles. no candles. No candles? So we'll see how this goes. Riley, you wanna put on your party hat? So we can sing happy birthday? Riley, whose cake is that? Is that for you and for Jackson? That's for Riley? And a little bit for Jackson? And I get a spoon. You get a spoon? I get a spoon. Alright, we're gonna sing happy birthday. Yeah. Okay? Are we ready? But we only sing happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Jackson is watching Riley eat all of his cake. And <laughs> he's like, what the heck? This is very rude. One day you're gonna be big and strong and then you can eat your sister's cake. Payback. This guy, he's trying to flip. He's trying to flip. Go, go, do it. He's been actually flipping quite a few times today. <laughs> he loves this thing. Look at the star. The star's over here. It's flip. Look at that. Look at that baby. Go do it! Oh, he just grabbed it. I thought he was gonna flip all the way. So yeah, I think it's safe to say that we had a very nice day. The kids had a really cute little half birthday celebration and I got to see my grandparents and we got to all hang out. So I'm glad that I got to share this footage with you guys and to have this cute little video to look back on. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.